Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. Um, this is just a quick reaction and a response to O'Shea's video about um, Minister Louis Farrakhan um, destroying Kyrie's haters and, you know, his critique on Farrakhan. And it's just one really main point. Um, you know, and it is fair, you know, it is fair to be at a place to where we can hold our black leaders accountable and critique them. You know, I, I truly believe nobody is above uh, critiquing. Right. That's how you get better. And that's how, um, you know, you should never worship somebody to the point where they could do no wrong. But at this particular point, um. Louis Farrakhan is is 90 years old and um you know one of main one of the main particular points O'Shea says is that you know that he isn't a man of action that you know what is he doing um I say man if you look during the stretch of you know Louis Farrakhan's career he's always been on the same mission he's always been consistent you know he never went nowhere um, when it comes to his message, when it comes to his, you know, what he, what he's pushing. Um, and that's that's more than a lot of, um, of black people can say. Right. Um, that's more than politicians can say. That's more than a lot of ministers can say um, that flip flop and do things to pander for money. Um, he never did that. It just so happened that the ball has f fell back in his court. Uh, with the whole Kyrie and um, Kanye situation. But he's been talking about this for years and years and years. And at this point, it's like, what are the black people going to do as a whole? We can't keep waiting for a leader. We can't keep waiting. Uh, when Obama was in, what happened to black people then? Nothing. So it's not up to leaders. We can, we can put all the leaders up. In all the political places, but if the people continue the same action, it's going to be the same result. So at this point, the ball is in the court of the people and you can't wait for a black Jesus because that's going to never come. So um, that's the really the main point I had with it. We and the elders, we have elders supposed to be our leaders and we waiting back. And saying, well, why is nothing changing? You can't wait for the elders. They've already, they need, they, you know what I mean? The age of retirement is 65. And you're expecting a 90-year-old man to fight your battle. We can't do that. So it's up to this generation to make a difference and to, and to become leaders. We don't need one leader. We need leaders, multiple leaders. We can't wait on one person to save us. So let me know what y'all think about this in the comment box. And we out.